Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 89. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 70 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, and we do product reviews, and we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's the holiday time. I forgot to ask about my teeth. No, there's nothing in your teeth. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no lipstick on your cup. Well, I was wiping that off because yes. I think it's funny. I go into the cabinet and like the kids do the dishes and it reminds me, like I think you said your, your grandpa was like paw clean is it what was it was. paw clean. You go in the cabinet and there's like cups with lipstick on it and I'll say, you guys didn't wash this. Oh, yes, we did. Absolutely I'm like, we oh, did. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> I mean, I have to give it to them. Some of the long lasting lipsticks, I mean, they're designed right. to go to through Armageddon and have you with red lips on the other side of it. It's funny we're talking about dishes because yeah, it's the holiday week, right? We have Thanksgiving yes. this week, but we do paper plates. We were talking about that the other day. We do, but let me tell you, they've come out with some gorgeous paper plates and silverware. You would not know the difference. Yeah. Recently, we went to a Friendsgiving event at church. They were nice. They were prettier than any place setting I've ever had in my life, right? right that right. I've ever done. Let us know down in the comment section. So it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or any of the holidays. When you have a get together, do you do fancy dishes? Or do you do just the cheapest paper plates? Or do you get the fancy paper plates, but at least you don't have to wash dishes? I'm curious. Well, and when you say fancy, should you do real? Do you do real dishes? Right, that's what I said. Do you do fine china? Because there's another oh, level okay. to that. Okay. Because you could do, we, we would sometimes do like Corel. Right. Because you could buy a new set and it felt fresh and clean, but it wasn't super expensive. Or... Are Just you the cheapest like one where you have to stack like eight paper plates together to actually, to actually work? Oh, I cannot stand those. <laughs> I know that in my mind per plate I'm saving money, but some of those are so flimsy I can't even use them for a craft at I church. I think you spend more money on those flimsy paper plates because yeah, you're gonna put three or four because otherwise you're going to like flip, pick it up, and then everything spills off or everything comes through. And you think you're saving money because like you said, it's like, you know, oh, I'm getting a thousand paper plates, but yeah. you're really only getting a hundred uses. I got a paper plate once that a three-year-old that was doing like a mask at church coloring put their crayon through. I'm like, <laughs> how thin is this thing? Speaking of picking something up and then having it be flimsy, I was so glad you weren't home last night. You had gone to pack up the boxes for the, for the Thanksgiving giveaway at church. Yeah. And I made a turkey. And I usually smoke my turkeys. Sometimes I used to fry them a lot. I'm actually gonna sell our fryer since we don't fry because like I don't really want to fry everything in peanut oil. Uh, oh, you mean the big? The deep, I was like, not our fry. air fryer. No, we the use deep our fryer. air fryer the all deep the time. Fryer. So we had a big 19 pound turkey. We got free from BJ's. So I decided, you know what? I haven't roasted a turkey in the oven in a long time. Talk about a Yankee candle smell to come home to. It was delicious. But what you didn't see, because this happened before you came home and I got it all cleaned up. Uh-oh. I had I don't have a big, heavy roasting pan that was big enough to fit a 19 pound turkey. Right. The only thing I have is those like disposable. Oh. Yeah. Only we have the little ones when we make my lasagnas in. And then I have the big, big ones that you would actually put in the bottom of like, you know, the thing for the sternos. You know, you're not supposed oh. to put food in it. It's supposed to it's supposed be to where the water the other is. Two. Right? It's yeah. supposed to be where the water. Well, that's what I had. That's the only thing I had that would fit a 19 pound turkey. But they're not very hearty. So I. Turkey roasted, beautiful. I mean, and awesome. Like when I cut that thing, the juices came. I mean, it was awesome. Perfect turkey. Skin was perfect. I lifted it up. The whole thing went wonky. And all of the water and the oil that the turkey was roasting in, all over the floor. Oh the my. The whole kitchen floor. I have got to if say. If you would have seen that, you would have killed me. I have got to say, he did a good job cleaning up because usually if he spills coffee or anything, I know about it because he like, you can see the wash rag lines where it's like, I made a swiping effort at it. But so you The dog helped. 
the dog did help. You did a great job with that. But while we're talking about turkey, I wanted to say you nailed that turkey. It was that good. turkey was flipping awesome. And I'm not jinxing our actual legitimate Thanksgiving turkey, but how many times has it happened that your practice turkey or your random turkey afterwards just because you bought a couple of turkeys because they're so cheap during Wait, this time? Wait, you gotta time? stop right there. Does anybody else, are you like us, do you do a practice run? Do you do a practice turkey? Like if you're gonna have people over for Thanksgiving, do you get a smaller turkey and cook it ahead of time to make sure that you're doing it right? Or yeah. are we just weird that we do a practice run on our turkey? You gotta know, like, is what's your oven doing? What's the right. oven game like, right. right? Like, do you have the seasoning blend just right? Do you need to, like, you know, baste it a certain way? Right. Like, all of those things, we, we do a practice run. Or we do one after the fact, because right. again, you get the turkey so cheap now and you remind yourself like, oh yeah, that's another protein source that I never eat that right. we probably should be eating because it's very reasonably priced and goes a long way. How many times does that turkey totally kick the butt taste-wise of your Thanksgiving I turkey? I know why. Too much stress? All the pressure is on Thanksgiving Day. It's emotions. Yeah. So we just have to, I feel like you need to be in a heightened awareness of the potential for emotional eating. Right. Right? Well, I have some good emotions. You have some good emotions? Let's talk about Black Friday deals. Okay. And it's funny, I love you, you cleaned. Mm -hmm. Between you cleaning and the kids moving stuff. Yes. Look right behind you over there. The light's in our shot now. <laughs> Oh, should I move it? No, I'll move it later. Okay. Because we're going to have to pause this we'll to go to... do the adoption thing yes. anyway. Okay. Black Friday deals. Now, a couple other housekeeping things real quick. So, we're filming this on Saturday. Mm -hmm. This is going to air Monday. There will be no regular live stream on Thursday, our normal 8.30 p.m. live stream, because it's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right? However, we are going to live stream at 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. Is it 10 a.m. or what time do you want to do? 10 a.m. Eastern or is that, that a little too early? Well, that Think was, about the West Coast. Oh, okay. Well, you want to do it at 11? 11 a.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. So that would make it 9 over in Utah and 8 in California. I don't do the time zone thing. Okay. So 9 a, 11 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to live stream on Thursday, on Thanksgiving. So that'll allow... Bring your iPad, bring your computer, bring it into the kitchen while you're cooking. You can join us. And we're going to go over all of the Black Friday deals that we know of. And bring your paper planner. We should know more other than the ones we're going to go over right now. Also, we're going to be doing our 12 days of Christmas starting on what day? It's actually called the 12 days of keto. Keto Christmas. It's the 12 days of keto. Okay. And it starts December 9th and it's going to run through the 20th. Okay. And that's going to be, we're going to live stream uh, time to be determined still. We're going to live stream every single day. Every single day, there'll be a giveaway. Right. And it'll be with a sponsor. Each day we'll have a sponsor from one of the keto companies. I already know we'll have Keto Chow. We have Chalk Zero. Yay! I'm pretty sure Lollies is going to join in. We'll have Redmond. So there's going to be a bunch of cool sponsors. Then Carrie Brown is sponsoring one of the days. I'm so excited. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you set your calendars for the 12 days of keto. Thank you. And uh, also, we're going to be decorating one of those days, our Christmas tree live. So make sure you're I, sending in your ornaments to the address down below. I love this shirt. Yeah, this is a Redmond shirt. You look like a superhero. Like, Shazam! <laughs> Do you remember Facts of Life? Remember her, what were those, remember that, what was that episode? The Facts of Life episode, Natalie had her hat. Oh, wow. It was like one of those flashback episodes. I hated flashback episodes. You did? I love flashbacks. I hated them. Like, they would come on, remember when you would have those, and like, they would do it once a year, like a flashback to what you missed over the whole season. Oh, I loved recaps. I didn't ever like it. But in this one, they were studying for a test, and she had a hat on with the backwards... Thunderbolts, do you remember that episode? I do not. Oh my gosh, what's wrong You're with You're having you? a flashback. You're a baby. You don't, well, the only thing is, we have been on like a late 80s, early 90s kick. Yesterday we watched a movie I had never seen before, but it was awesome. The River Wild. 
It was so awesome good. movie. It's it was awesome a nice movie. thriller movie. Yeah. I was like, when was Meryl Streep and John C. Riley in a movie together? And he's like, It's a really good movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I love that movie. That's a deal. There's a lot of movie deals. Yes, if you're an iTunes person like us, we don't buy DVDs. We buy all of our movies on iTunes. Because we scratch the DVDs. And like right now, and for the next like two weeks, you'll find awesome deals. We've built up a collection of over 400 movies on iTunes and almost always at this time of the year. Because they're going to have like, you get five movies for 20 bucks. Like a couple years ago, we got all the Harry Potter movies for like $25. It's And they have a lot of bundles. Yeah. Where if like somebody likes an entire franchise, like Pirates of the Caribbean or Harry Potter, like this is a good time They'll for it. They'll do $1.99 movies, $2.99 movies. So make sure you go check that out. Okay. Yeah. Let's get into the Black Friday deals that we know of as of now. We're going to get through these really quick. Fox Hill Kitchen. Um, they're having some different deals. They have one that's ending today when you guys are seeing this, but they have some other ones coming out. So I'm going to leave a link for it down below. They always put it up there. And also make sure you're on our Facebook family group because we'll update there as well. Perfect Keto. Okay, yes. so Perfect Keto sale starts on Black Friday, but they're allowing us to enter to announce it early. And if you use our link, which is down below, you can access the sale today. Now, if you don't use our link, if you just go to their website, you're not going to find the sale because there's no code for it. Right. So you have to use our link, which will activate the sale for you. We got a back door. And <laughs> use our back door. Use the back door. 25% uh, off of two items, 40% off of four items, and 50% off of six items. It's the best deal of the year. It's the for only them. time you're going to find 50% off some things. This is the new cinnamon toast mct powder they also have a collagen in it. it's very tasty it's very very tasty so that's something you can think about very sweet uh this is usually when we load up on our mct powder and our collagen we usually get enough to get through the whole year if you do like the exogenous ketones like where you need to get a little bit of focus we don't write don't use them to lose weight no. you're not gonna lose weight but sometimes you need a little bit of focus you have a test coming up a big presentation at work and you want something like that Ketones are expensive. They're like $60 a tub. They, so you can get them at 30%, at 50% off right Well, now. and sometimes they do a gift with purchase with some of the bundles. And my mom actually got a tub of that thrown in with her, yeah. you know, December purchase. Well, what they're doing is if you spend over $120, you get a free gift. And last year, the free gifts were like boxes of those ketones, like the yeah. individual packs. So that's perfect keto. Lollies, couple things. So... The last day, if you like the pumpkin spice lollies. Uh, lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Okay, I'm, I'm okay uh, now. Last day to order them is 11.30. And on December 1st, they're replacing it with gingerbread. It's another seasonal flavor. Oh, gingerbread nice. is really good if you That's like gingerbread. That's cute. Um, their Black Friday deal is it's one of every flavor they have for $65. It's 25% off. Uh, $25 off. And then you can tack our code on top of that to get another 10% off. So that's another 650 savings. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with that. And that'll that. be good Friday through Monday. Tell you what I'm going to do with that lollies for Christmas season. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some ratio yogurt and lollies. Oh, yeah. On well, the go. I'm, I'm, oh, for on the go? Absolutely. Heck yes. Yeah. Um, Chalk Zero. Starting on Wednesday, they're going to have various bundles and deals. All of them are going to stack with our coupon code. And if you're going someplace for like maybe a Christmas party or it something so like that. It's so pretty. So they have these keto fall collections, which we've actually already opened and we only have two left. We have two left. But they're like these little maple leaves and it kind of reminds you of the Russell Stover candy. Yes. Even the box looks like it's it. It's so pretty. But they're like filled with stuff. I forgot what these are filled with like um, they're like a truffles. maple pecan thing. They also have the peanut butter filled ones. Mm -hmm. They were really good. Um, these are going to be buy two, get one free. Wow. Also, they're going to have a free advent calendar as a door buster. Nice. The, the advent calendar is really cool. They're super cute. Don't forget about the Carrie Brown deal. You get like $30 off of the master class. The link is down below. And Ooh, that, okay. we found out, is actually um, like a do it on your own pace kind of thing. Which so I'm really happy like about. Can, if you can't start it late, you can do it whenever you want. When I think about how many times I had to re-watch things on my hook loom, to get the hang of it, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go at a slower pace cooking well, than everybody else. I was else. thinking, let us know if anybody else is interested in the Carrie Brown Masterclass, because Rachel wants to do it, and maybe you guys can like do it together. Like You can do it and then talk on Facebook or something like yes, that. Yes, right? I want to do that. So, oh, that reminds me, I know we're talking about nonsense, but- Sorry. 
one of the things we're going to be starting is a Discord server. Yeah. So, or putting us uh, putting one on for our channel. And we're going to probably open it up to everybody, but then there's also going to be some special sections for our Patreon members okay. and where you can go in and have more access to us through Discord. Like I need another social media thing for you to always be on, be on but I love playing on we it. We want to be able to connect with you guys more and a couple of the places that we're Patreons with actually use Discord and we really like it. Yeah. So you just we're have a question, that. concern, want to talk about something? Or just if you want to chat. If you're lonely, you can go in there and you're chatting in real time and not like Facebook, make a post, wait for somebody to answer. Yeah. You're actually talking. It's like a chat room kind of thing. But maybe like if there's some people who want to do the Carrie Brown, we can do a Discord and you guys can be in there talking while you're doing the class kind oh of thing. Oh my god! So it's kind of like Zoom, but without the video aspect of it. So, I'm so let excited. us know in the comments if something you're interested in. I'm interested. Chili pad. Chili pad. We got a new pad. Yeah, we got the new pad, which is really, really comfortable. It's a lot colder. It's reversible. So if you don't want to be as cold, you can flip it one way. I always want to be colder. And if, but did you? were you cold last night? Because I without an air conditioner, we needed that thing. So good. And there's the thing. God will provide, you know, what you need because yes, when he, I did not make a face, I felt so proud of myself when you're like, the air conditioner is not a thing tonight. And I thought... Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to kill him. But I didn't. And then we're like, ding dong. And the new chili pad was there. And I thought, thank you, yeah, we, Lord. The only thing new we got was the mattress cover. I'm not going to be sweaty tonight. But it was comfortable. It and was really nice. It was super nice. So chili pad is doing an awesome deal. Now, uh, we have a link down below for it, but here's their deal. Probably only people in Florida are thinking about. Yeah, but remember, it's got heat on it. Freezing. It's got heat on it. Oh, we would never use that. Yes, you do. You, I've put it on for you because of the heating blanket. When you don't want to use the heating, when you well, when I always use the blanket. What I like is it not the warms mattress. you up in the morning. It does. Oh, uh, okay. Take that back. I use the heating element every morning because we set it like an alarm clock. But like all alarm clocks, when I feel it, I'm like. It's time to get up because yeah. I'm sweaty and I'm not comfortable right now. So like, yeah, you know, you never really like your alarm clock, but I mean, it's doing its job, but. I've had plenty of times where I turn that heat on because like, first of all, sometimes you want to get into a warm bed, right? And there's nothing better Cold. than a feeling of putting the sheets on after they come out of the dryer and crawling into that warm. So you crawl into a warm bed and then crank down the cold or, you know, hey, it's not 10 degrees here. If it was, no, 10, if degrees, it was 10 degrees, you would appreciate the warming. I blanket. would totally do that. Anyway, the deal is 22% off. That is a huge deal. The key, There's a coupon for it. The coupon is down below. I believe it's Chili 22. And you get a free Chili pillow, which I don't have one of those. And I want one because I love a cold pillow. Well, because we do have like a cold thing that we got at Costco for right. a pillow. Because yeah. Yeah. Bones Coffee, 25% off. Dude, we got to stock up. Yeah. Again, there's links for everything down below. Some of these, most of them, we are affiliates. Some of them, we're not affiliates. Um, if you use our links, it doesn't cost you anything. It does help benefit the channel. We really do appreciate that. What flavor is everybody using for Christmas coffee is what I want to know. Because I've got to make the transition out of pumpkin spice into winter flavors. What? What's your winter flavor? What's the Christmas? Peppermint. I sometimes love peppermint. Sometimes it's not my go-to. Okay. Berkey water filters. Um, now we normally have a coupon, which is 7% off, which is one of the best coupons you'll find for a Berkey. Um, but they're having all kinds of deals. It's not a specific percentage off. All of the different ones are a different price discount. There's okay. a link down below. It averages out to be about 50 bucks. Off. Off. So some of them are like 47, some are like 53, but it's a good savings. Like I. I know you can get like the one we have for like $57 off and it comes with a couple of the glass jars for free. So we love that's that thing. A good deal. It's okay. an everyday usage. Um, heck of, heck of foods, 40% off. That's a heck of a good deal. So I'll leave a link for that down below. We're See not affiliates there? with them, but I know a lot of people do like it. Okay. So keto chow, keto chows is interesting. And I left it for last cause there's a lot. Okay. Okay. So from Monday, until the, the 29th, the 23rd until the 29th, all flavors are 10% off. So which, everybody's the best so, flavor. So everything is a flavor of the week. That's, I mean, hey, it's awesome, except for our link is already going to give you 10% off. So 
You can use our link any day and get 10% off of any flavor you want or anything you want. But it's nice to so just know. So on Monday, though, think that way. you get 5% off of Daily Minerals. But again, that's not as... Because you can't stack it with our coupon. Oh, so, okay. So that's not a huge thing because our coupon's going to give you better. Tuesday, 10% off of the Classic Flavor Bundle. Same thing. So the deals really start on Wednesday. All right. If you're not using our coupon. But why wouldn't you use our coupon? You want to use our coupon, right? Get Money so off. You want to you want to support the channel and save ten percent. So like you're always going to use our coupon. Well, I like saving money no matter what. So Wednesday, the electrolyte drops, not the daily minerals. The electrolytes, magnesium. the magnesium, and the fasting drops are fifteen percent off. That's so good. now I've asked Chris how this works. If you go in, use our link down below. That'll automatically give you ten percent. If you wait until Wednesday, you can buy your keto chow at 10% off, and then you'll still get 15% off of the electrolyte drop. Okay, good. If you don't use our link, you will only get the 15% 15 15 off of the electrolyte drops. Okay. Okay, so that's why you got to do it that way. Wait till Wednesday. Thursday, if you know somebody who you want to introduce to keto chow, you want to give them a gift for Christmas, something like that, um, 20% off of the gourmet bundle. That is so, nice. I like the gourmet the bundle variety. better than the starter pack. The original, yeah. like classic flavor, is like chocolate vanilla kind of thing. The gourmet bundles got the better flavors that I think in it, Some chocolate toffee, that favorite. kind of stuff. The difference is it doesn't come with a blender bottle, but you can get the gourmet bundle and then just go buy them a blender. I was bottle. gonna get a blender bottle that's like Mandalorian or something super right. cute. So that's twenty percent off. Same thing. You can get twenty percent off of that, and then with our link, get ten percent off of everything else. Okay. Black Friday. This is the one I'm excited for. We have a holiday bundle with holiday flavors. All right. And a secret flavor that's a brand new flavor. And it's not Joe's concoction of peanut butter and jelly wannabe nonsense. I know what it is. It is peanut butter and jelly. No, it is not. It is. Like, I, I've been begging Miriam for three months to make me peanut butter and jelly, and I finally whittled her down. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's peanut butter and jelly. It's not. So He's messing with you. It's <laughs> not. Trust me. How many people want to see a peanut butter and jelly keto chow? I love peanut butter and jelly. And then, not only that, do you want to see peanut butter and grape jelly or peanut butter and strawberry, strawberry. jelly? If we must have this thing, strawberry. Okay. There's a new flavor coming out. But the only way that you get to find out what the new flavor is, is if you buy the holiday bundle. You have to buy the holiday bundle. They're not releasing it right now. They're going to release it later, but not releasing it right now unless you get it in the holiday bundle. So And you get a cup. And you get a cool mug. A really it nice mug. It looks like a camping mug, but it's ceramic. It's really nice. And there's a little secret message on there from Miriam written in her handwriting. How sweet. So that is, I don't know how much it is, but that's on Black Friday. Okay. Okay. And it's limited, so you might definitely want to get on and get that. That's a nice gift. Along with that, Friday through Monday, 40% off of all savory flavors. So, tomato basil, creamy chicken. Make the chili. Make your, You can make our chili with tomato make basil. Make the drop biscuits. The drop biscuits. You can get, I like the beef. It makes like a good gravy. It really does. Uh, you can also get the spicy taco. Somebody actually recently asked, can you use a spicy, spicy taco instead of tomato basil sure. for chili? You can. Um, just, it's going to be same, the same tomato kind of thing. You may need a little bit more if you want the tomato base. And I know Heath's going to say there's no tomato in chili, but I like tomato in chili. <laughs> um it's going to be has a little bit of a different taste. I mean, it's designed for tomato basil, but you can kind of mix them up. But the, the spicy taco is really good. It's really good. So then on Monday, they're doing 10% off of their like their flasks. They're like the hydro kind of flasks. Oh, nice. So those, are those. those are pretty. Those are beautiful. But again, beautiful. you get 10% off. So the best day is Friday. Yeah. That's the best day. Well, it's Black Friday. So we love you guys. We want you to save money. So if you want keto chow, if you want savory flavors, if you want that holiday bundle, don't buy anything until Friday. Yeah, get the best value. Wait till Friday. Use our link. Get 10% off of everything that you want. Grab the holiday bundle. Get 40% off of your savory flavors. You get to support the channel. You get some really good deals. And if you're going to stock up, because why wouldn't you with 40% off? You get free shipping. It's $200, you get free shipping. Yeah. So those are all the deals we know. We're gonna know more. We're gonna go over everything 
on Thanksgiving. So I think we should take a commercial break, watch a family have an adoption proceeding. Well, they're not going to watch. We're going to watch. And then we'll be right back. Yeah. Have you wiped away all the tears? What in the world was I thinking <laughs> wearing mascara and eyeliner? I cannot stop crying. That was like so beautiful, but like I should not have worn makeup. That was a dumb move on my part. You know what the coolest thing is? It's James's birthday. It is. Like how cool is it to get adopted on, on your, birthday. your birthday? Right? I, on your birthday. I'm you gonna get start adopted. crying again. And he's getting baptized. Right? So like what a cool day to remember. Like on, every weekend. year on your birthday, he's going to get to it's your gotcha celebrate day too. his birthday, celebrate his baptism, and celebrate his adoption into his per permanent forever family. Like just what I can't. An awesome day. I cannot. It's the, the most beautiful day ever. Thank <laughs> you, Lord, for days like this. This there's there are good things every single day happening. And I think one of the things that hit me too was we they had to keep putting other families into waiting rooms because there was another adoption behind that and another adoption right. behind that. And like what a beautiful thing to focus on. Yeah, you know, let's celebrate some cool things within our own family, right? Yes. It's time to talk about all the comments, the questions, and our subscriber of the weeks. Now, if you're new to our channel, and I know I say this every week, but there's always new people, right? There are. Um, we have a Facebook family group. There's a link down below. And it's free, and we ask you to go in there, join. There's people in there who are going to become your partner. They're going to help you along. They're going to motivate you. They're going to share recipes, share deals, all of that kind of fun stuff. And we also ask you to share your success stories because your story is going to impact somebody. There is somebody out there right now yeah. who's going through something going, nobody else knows what it's like. And when you share your story, they'd be like, oh, I'm not alone. You share your story and suddenly somebody finds out they are not a hopeless case. Right. That there's hope to be had. So the first thing we need to talk about is our... Keto College Adjunct Professor of the Week. Yes. And this week's is actually going to go to Miss Shelly. One of my favorite people. So Shelly actually has a post, and it's a long post, so go check out the Facebook family group. But basically, it's hello family. I want to do a little fun exchange. We did this last year. We had a lot of fun. Basically, we're going to pick an item like a coffee or a tea mug or a blender bottle. For those who want to participate, you log into elfster.com and you set up your profile. And once the deadline, which is November 30th, so it's this week. Still time to get in. Uh, you hit the site, you know, they'll sign a name, they'll email to you, maybe a limit of like $10 or $15. And uh, we're doing this, we're really, in fact, we both did it. We both signed up for it. It's super exciting, it's cool. You can go in there, kind of, you go through Amazon, say these are some of my wish list things so you don't get like, I don't know. Like Underwear. a grape zip, a grape zip fin oh, for yeah. Rachel or something like that. So here's- Somebody else send that to you is fun. Oh, that'd be fun. But, uh, we just wanted to make Shelly the professor we, because this is what our family group is all about, right? It's all about inspiration, about helping us become more of a family. So we really appreciate you doing this, Shelly, and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, I think it's really important to celebrate things, to have a good time. And also, it reminds us that we're living and existing in in the world. Right. You know, it's not just a case of... We're only thinking about our weight. We're only thinking about health concerns. We're never thinking, we're never going to have any fun because you've got to be just sitting at your desk working on macros. Right. Right? Like there's, there's fun to be had. There's joy in this life. We're getting healthier. We might as well enjoy the life that we have. What a blessing. I will say though, once you get to start picking out gifts on through that Elfster portal, I will warn you, I lost like an hour. I was, I was like clicking on everything. I mean, there was such a, I, I just knew that the, you know, under 20 bucks or 15 bucks, there's a lot of fun, interesting things to be, puzzles, shirts, mugs. I'm glad I have my own because mine's got practical things like barbecue sauce and, yeah. you know, like kitchen utensils. Mine is gummed up with nonsense. Okay. Let's move on. Now, I will leave a link down below for that post so that you can go sign up for Elfster. We're really looking forward to it. I am. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. So uh, this week's subscriber of the week is Amanda. Hey, Amanda. She says, three years ago today, I made the decision to take back control of my physical and mental health. Is it easy? 
No. Do I miss real sugar, pizza, donuts, and potatoes? Every day. The struggle is real. Is it worth it? A million times yes. Maintaining this lifestyle has been one of the best things that I have done for myself and for my family. Hashtag keto lifestyle, hashtag intermittent fasting. There you go. Wow. Do you look awesome? Yes. <laughs> are you amazing? Yes. And are we super, super proud to get to celebrate this with you? Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. And again, please share this. your story. We're not asking you to share your story so that we have content for Keto on the Couch. We're asking you to share your story because that's going to inspire somebody. It really, really right? will. I mean, some people are going to be like, well, do, does the craving ever go away? Like, I personally don't miss sugar, but there are other people that do. Yeah. And so maybe you can't relate to me that in not missing sugar, but here's someone who's been doing this for three years and saying, hey, I still miss it. But you know what? It's worth it. Yeah, I love it. I love sharing the stories because yeah, there's going to be somebody that really connects and and cuz you're thinking if I have struggle a tr struggle, a struggle and a trouble together. That's how bad it can be. That's how daunting it is. If I have a struggle in this area, am I the only one? Is it safe to even bring up a right. certain struggle that I have or am that's, I That's why sharing a story is important. Am I going to get blasted? No, you're not because there's somebody that is struggling in your unique way too. Yeah. Let's move on to comments. So last week, uh, Tammy wrote- Hey, Tammy. Man, Rachel, I really love your hair. It makes you look younger. Thanks, Tammy. I'm starting to get used to it. Of course, you'll never see it the same twice no. because I can never brush my hair or you curl it. You pulled out the rollers again, though. I pulled out the rollers. I'm playing around with them. All kinds of, I look, I, I, I re-put my uh, flower in because, I mean, when I start crying, everything gets messed up. <laughs> And so my hair is jacked, but that's fine. Thank you. Okay, next one is from Vivid J. Hey Vivid J, he says, I don't know if you picked your commercial or not, but the second set of commercials, a fart pill supplement that's supposed to help you lose weight. <laughs> no, what? we do not get to pick the commercials. What? And we've talked about this before. Unfortunately, YouTube is weird. YouTube, about six months ago, they cut the commissions on like ads, which was already very, very tiny. Like people think, oh, you make a lot of money on ads. No, no. we really don't. It's like a penny of a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of a penny. Yeah. But what they did was they cut that. So you don't make as much. And then they started just adding more Tons. commercials in. Whereas it, you can only have a before, before if you had 10 minute um, videos, now it's eight minutes and they automatically just shove a bunch in. We do live streams sometimes and go back and we find that YouTube has put like 18 commercials in there. So we do try to remember to go in and delete crazy. them all. Sometimes we forget. I apologize if you see a video that there's eight commercials, it's not, because of me it's because i for, well it is because of me it's because i forgot but youtube does it but we don't have any say in it my best suggestion if you don't want to see the commercials go get youtube red it's or, worth now it. it's called youtube premium it's like 10 to 15 dollars depending on if you get one or a family plan we don't make commissions off of telling you to do that but i hate commercials so i'm sure a lot of other people do too if anybody needs a reminder of a non-scale victory can i just say though like while we're on the subject of farting and stuff that like it's not really a thing no. for us anymore. I, I used to be pretty bad. It was terrible. I mean, I can remember that yours were like the silent but deadly ones. Mine were the ones that like you totally knew it just happened. And like, I mean, it was a noise. But like Joe, I can remember us grocery shopping in Publix. And I'm like, you know, I kind of, I push my shopping cart like I bike on my bicycle. It's like a Mary Poppins, like boppity boppity. I'm looking at stuff and he's like, run, just move. Don't ask any questions, just go, just move. And I'm like, why? And it's like, it's chasing us. <laughs> and the fact that I don't have to be worried that the smell is me or him, like, is it's a good thing. It's a non The kids victory. always joke because they knew when I was doing it, though, even though it was, like, a silent. Like, I always He'd had to, He'd roll like, down the window. No, or I had to lift, He'd right? Lift. Like, the lift. <laughs> the dad lift in the car. It doesn't happen anymore. I feel like we don't celebrate that enough. We need to celebrate that. Have a party. So, yeah. So, yeah, we don't have any control over commercials. Now, if you want to support the channel, here's the best way to do it. The best way to support the channel is A, you can join our Patreon. There's a few different levels. We're even doing weekly or bi-weekly bi like live streams with them. Uh, or just use the links down below. It doesn't cost you anything. And the Amazon links, if you click on one of those, even if you don't wanna buy that particular product, 
you go buy something else, we get like a tiny percentage, like a half a percent or something. So that's the best way to support the channel is just by using our links. You ready? Next up is from Renee. Hey, Renee. Renee said, try cod livers. Dr. Barry mentioned them in a video and I tried them. Delicious. They need to be the Icelandic ones. On Amazon, search for cod liver in own oil. 4.3 ounces for a pack of five. Is that supposed, is to, that be supposed to be a fear factor? fear factor? Or should we just be eating cod liver? We, I do drink Probably cod both. liver oil. I drink cod liver oil. I get the lemon flavored one. Okay, so here's the thing. Let's go ahead and purchase that because if someone is reaching be out than the recent stuff. and they're saying this is a fear factor proposition but i've tasted it i've gone before you and this tastes good i'm in i i kind of want to start choosing our own fear factor because some of the stuff that's been coming lately like <laughs> it's been really fun. tarantulas it's been fun tarantulas i feel like squid and ink sauce oh my gosh that was i i, I okay we're, change the subject we're, I, we're definitely making strides of coolness with our nephews though okay Next up is from Gail. Hey, Gail. She says, the next time you're in Whole Foods, try the Unbun. Nicole Burgess is in love with it. She said that they have it on sale until December 1st. I would love to hear a review on it from you. I think I'm going to try it soon. I am with you. I don't like brie cheese either. So I think that's a great idea. Actually, yeah. when this is over, I want to take you down to that brand new Harbor Freight. They just opened up this giant Harbor Freight by us. It's like the size of a Walmart. We and there's a Whole Foods across the street. need to think about our dates. Our dating. Well, you said you want to go to Five to Go. I so mean, I figure I'll take you to Five to Go, but then we'll go to Harbor Freight. I love that you're saying Five to Go, which is a, a RV oh, channel. We need to go to Five Below. Five Below. Thank you because very I much. Because can't, I can't find my turkey hat. And I need a turkey hat, but yeah. But isn't that funny that it's like, hey, baby, let's go to Harbor Freight, get you a well, turkey you hat. Well, you wanted to go. It's true. It's not that I'm against it. I'm just thinking, like, should we rethink our choices? Next up is from Slap a Stick Keto, which hey. I spelled wrong on there. Good job. It says, Whole Foods cheese sections will often let you taste a bite of any cheese you want for free. Oh. As long as they have someone working in that section. At least you could a year ago. Then you can taste that cheese uh, for free before you buy the really small blocks. I love that Kroger and Whole Foods will let you sample cheeses before you buy. And I do love those small blocks of cheese, especially from Kroger, Kroger's when it goes on sale. You know, we probably need to reach out to some of the other grocery stores, even the small ones in our area, like the mom and pop bodegas and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They all have cheese sections, and I have a feeling that we are not taking advantage of it. We are only seeing the ones that have big displays. I bet we should ask more questions of our cheese sections, yeah. right? Because it really is fun. It does make for a really nice night, like just to have like kind of like a cheese sampling platter, try some new different kinds of salamis and meat. We did find that that uh, pork roll, Taylor pork roll, Taylor pork roll, if that is in your area, fries up so good as a beautiful, thick, um, almost like a salami. Yeah, it's like a cross between salami and bologna. Yeah. I, I really like it. That with the cheeses, so good. I'm trying to be good on the cheese because I was off the deep end. I was probably eating like six to eight ounces of the cheese a day. But I think that if we, if we do it like the advent calendar, then you're getting to say you had a special cheese and you're not eating so much of it. Right. Next up is from Joe. Hey, Joe. He says, try Camembert. It's the brie type cheese for people who don't like brie. Okay. That feels like it's specifically made for us. We have to look for that. Yeah, Camembert. Yeah. Okay, next up is from Get Fit Fancy Pants. So we're talking about toilet paper. Why? Because okay. Rachel likes to talk about toilet paper and balls. I do. So last week we were talking about like, this is actually from our vlog. Yes. Because we went to BJ's and it really stirred up a lot of emotions in the comment section. So toilet, I decided to put some of them in here. Well, toilet paper is a choice that you are making and you have to live with that choice every single day, multiple times a day. Well, Get Fit Fancy Pants says, Scott's is like gas station toilet paper. We like Charmin. Don't squeeze I the Charmin though. I love Scott's toilet paper. It lasts long, it's cheap. It's not sandpaper. I almost when we went to BJ's because there was a giant coupon, like $15 off the box, bought the the, the huge roll of Scott's. Like, you know, the, the gas station roll of Scott's. That's what I wanted to One buy. One time to save money. But that was Charmin. Joe bought 
a giant wagon wheel toilet paper. Like that should be in a giant public restroom because we were gonna save no, it money. No, came with a nice fancy stand and everything. It was just like getting it started was yeah. like, I'm like, I'm gonna die. This is like an Indiana Jones, the boulder is chasing me, but it's my toilet paper. One roll was supposed to last 30 days. Now this is my point. One roll was supposed to last 30 days, but you know what the problem with it is? It was Charmin. And of course it doesn't because like you use too much and it's, it, it looks big cause it's nice and thick, but there's not a lot of sheets on there. That's why when I buy paper towels, I don't just look at like how many sheets or like what I'd look or how, what's the length. I look at actually what is the length? Like, is this 50 yards or is this 300 yards? I'm not. I want to pay by the yard. As <laughs> like fabric. <laughs> Um, I am not super tuned into it. I just don't want it to be like my high school toilet paper because I, I don't even know what they were using. It's like, just going down it was the drain. a quarter of a ply. I bought you a bidet. You don't need toilet paper. But then I also don't want it to be like a blanket yeah. because that is disturbing to me if I feel like it's so thick that I'm like, is this going to go down the toilet? Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, Danny wrote... Yes, Scott, all the way. When I bought other brands, they don't last as long. And I lived in homes over 75 years old my whole life. Oh, wow. And Scott's keeps the old plumbing systems in these homes from clogging up. Every time I use fluffy name brand would result in a clogged toilet. A family member was told by a plumber when the toilet clogged and flooded to only use Scott's to keep that from happening. Wow. And I actually know somebody else who is a plumber who said the same thing, that Scott's is like... A, it, preferred by plumbers? Preferred by plumbers. Well, here's the thing. Think about this. It, I buy Scott's. Okay. You would always buy the Charmin or like the nice fluffy stuff. Sorry, I guess. Angel Soft. In all of the years we've been together, okay, in 14 years... Have we ever had a clogged toilet using Scott's toilet paper? We have never. We have never. We did. We've never had to call a plumber. We've never even had to pull out the little plunger thing, which like, it's really disturbing when you have to use that thing and you'd be like, now, do I really want to look on the inside of that thing? Having three boys, we have had plumbing issues where they have lost a toy they were playing with on the toilet <laughs> or they gave the dog a haircut and it's down the toilet. But yeah, no, we've never had a, a toilet paper. Scott's for the win. Okay. Next up, BP. Hey, BP. Scott is terrible. <laughs> Joe, I like Cottonelle. I like the advertising. I'm attracted to toilet paper like I'm attracted to cereal boxes. If you've got a cute baby, an angel, like I, I've never, you know what, what what disturbs me is is the lumberjack. I've never been attracted to the brawny, brawny. because I don't I don't know. And that's, now that's paper towels. That's though, paper isn't it? towels. But I'm just saying, like I the little bears squeezing the family of bears, like advertising and toilet paper, it does do something you for me. You know how Scott's gets me? Thousand sheet roll. And then they have the bonus rolls. This one's 1,100 sheets. You know what? You know what they should do for, for you? They should have a dad pack that comes with like with like a thermostat app <laughs> with the toilet paper. So like buy this. Not only are you like taking care of it, it's cheap. You're getting a billion rolls. You know, it, it'll last you forever. And you can check the thermostat from your toilet. I think some of toilet. this goes back to my childhood because my parents only ever bought Scott's because we would go camping and we had... We would go camping in tents, but then we had a little porta potty that we'd put like in a shed. And my dad only ever bought Scots because it is septic safe. It's what is familiar to your bum. I mean, right. you're going into adulthood and you had 18 years of your bum feeling like this is what clean feels like, Scots right. toilet paper. That's right. Okay, so Nancy wrote, hey, Nancy. the Costco brand is the best toilet paper. I don't think I've ever tried Costco We've brand. We've never tried Kirkland's. Is it like a Kirkland's brand? I'm assuming. Chances are, it's probably Scott's. Yeah. Like, right? Usually, what were we looking at? Oh, it was, um, it was coffee in 
BJ's. Uh, BJ's. Same orange box. And I'm like, you know, it was called the Donut brand, but and it was like, the Costco this is BJ's Dunkin version. Donuts coffee, I think. Yeah. And, well, it's the same thing in Aldi. And most of the uh, stuff in Aldi is actually literally made in Tyson the same factory. chicken. Yeah. If you like Tyson chicken, anything that's in the chicken line, even their like grilled chicken. Yeah, Cause you used to work there, right? Yeah. You found out about all it that It would stuff. come in the boxes <laughs> of the name brands. Like places. the cereals and Even all that. Even cereals. They were all Kellogg's the cereals. cereals. Are like Kellogg's cereals yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, so Squally wrote, Matcha Wipe is my favorite. Sandpaper. <laughs> wow. I've never even heard of that. Is that a, bland, a brand? Matcha I Wipe? Think so. I think they're just joking. I feel like if our boys could, could pick any that they want, they like the flushable wipes. Who's a flushable wipes person? That's too expensive. Flushable wipes. Okay, next up is from Brandy. Hey, Brandy. That's okay, Joe. I'm a Scots girl, too. See? You're a Scots girl. She's uh, a Scots girl. I'm a Scots guy. Well, you're a Scots girl because you don't have a choice because okay, I, I go toilet paper shopping. Yeah. I, I I really, you know, I use my veto for other things. Rachel likes it when I go, hey, we're out of toilet paper. Can you do me a favor? Pick up toilet paper. She's like, yes! I made a week without Scots. <laughs> I just grab whatever's on sale. Anne's up and she wrote, hey, my Anne. husband loves Scott's and I don't. A divided we aren't home. We uh, hoarding toilet paper, but we have two giant Sam's Club packs in our house for just the two of us. One Scott's and one softer version. Too funny that y'all talked about this today. I will say this. When we went into quarantine, we were not stacked on toilet paper. We bought whatever we could. So we bought whatever we could. And so for the first time ever, I was purchasing some toilet paper that I was, was... I was buying Charmin. Walgreens brand. Because oh. that was it. And it was funny oh. because I guess everybody had had their choices. There were there was no Scots. There was no Cottonelle. There was no Charmin. You're left to what is, you know, the Walgreens brand or the CVS brand. And I'll tell you that. I think there's four four squares on a roll. Hey. I've never seen toilet paper go so fast as you that. You change that roll like three times a day. It was terrible. Let's uh, take a quick commercial break and then we'll come back with some more comments. Did everybody take a potty break like me? It was a lot of toilet paper talk. I needed to run to the restroom really quick. Okay, let's move on to Facebook. Okay. Gilda wrote, I got fully baptized this morning at 6, 10 a.m. in eggnog flavored Ooh. keto chow shake. Thought the lid was secure, forgot to hard snap the drinking plug, shake, 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 splattered everywhere. Oh. Woo, talk about eggnog on the oh, face. Oh, Gilda, I am so sorry. We have I been did there. That. We've I, been there. We've done this. I did it last week. Another another cleaning that you didn't know about. I was making a keto chow, put it in the blender. I'm working on a new butter type, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. And like I shook it like two times oh. and whoosh, and when I not just in my face, like all over the stove, the cabinet, the sink. No wonder I cannot keep an animal out of our kitchen. Probably because it's like there is always some like I'm always in a in rush. That's my problem. I'm in a rush. Yeah, slow down, sir. Next up is Marie. Hey, Marie. She says, okay, so I've been keto for a year and a half and I have lost some weight. Still losing, but I'm finding some issues I'm running into and need some help or friendly advice. I am a type 2 diabetic and have cut the bad sugars out of my way of eating. Still get the cravings once in a while, but the problem I'm running into is my blood sugars are starting to run higher than normal and I'm not sure what's going on. I try not to eat anything, not even a snack, after 8 p.m. and I go to bed with water and my supplements, which are keto friendly and recommended. And when I test it at first rise, it's ranging between 125 and 160 and I'm not happy. What can I do to get this back down? Okay, I'm gonna leave this up here for a couple minutes just so that I can make sure I hit everything. Uh, two things. First of all, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. I'm gonna start off with that. Just, I just wanna clarify, do us a favor. Clarify, what do you mean by you've cut out the bad sugars? Make sure you're cutting out all sugar. Like if you wanna have like a keto friendly thing like stevia or monk fruit or something like that, that's fine. But some people think that like honey is not a bad sugar. Or agave. Or agave because they're natural. Or some people will say like cane sugar is okay. Sugar in the raw. All sugar. So make sure you're cutting out all sugar, including fruits. Like fructose is actually one of the worst things that you can be having is when you start getting into like some of the fruit sugars. So with that being said, 
Okay, so this happened to me, and I actually was talking to Dr. Barry about it. Because we're not doctors. Because we are not doctors. <laughs> so this is personal experience. This is my own personal study. So it happened to me where I noticed that my blood sugars were in the 80s, and then after about two years, I was like, they were in the 90s and you know, like mid nineties, especially in the morning. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything different. Like why is all of a sudden my blood sugar higher? It's your body is adapting. And Dr. Barry had said the same thing to me. Do not worry about that. It's your body creates glucose when it needs it. I can go ahead and turn this off now. Um, it creates it when it's needed. So that's why I started messing with the CGMs because then you can really see what's going on. And I found some interesting things like the fact that if I can have a blood sugar in the mid 70s to low 80s, if I get up at two in the morning and go to the bathroom, you will see on my graph, my blood sugar spikes to like 120. Now yeah. I didn't eat anything. What happened? My body created glucose so that I could have the energy to get up to go to the bathroom. It makes you feel old, but yeah. so kind of cool. I wouldn't worry about that. If you were a type two diabetic, especially like, just keep it low. I mean, you're doing the right thing. But the other thing is, do not check your sugar first thing in the morning, especially when you've been doing this for a while. So you have something called the dawn phenomenon, which is when you first get up, same thing, your body is gonna create glucose to get you going. And so your blood sugar is always going to be the highest in the morning, usually between about seven o'clock and nine o'clock. So you want to test it like after that. So if you want to test it. Well, and I would say that um, if you're already a type two diabetic, if you don't already have one, I would get a CGM. Mm -hmm. So then you could test throughout the day and see what are some things that may be spiking them. You can do your own tests. Yeah you know, for yourself during the day. If for nothing else than just information. Yeah. So next up is Sylvia. Hey Sylvia, she says, okay, I just decided to get back on keto last week and was taking it slow with my transition. This week I somehow ended up in OMAD, which really helped my blood sugars, but now I'm in a bad case of the keto flu. Any suggestion on how to minimize the side effects? Absolutely. Electrolytes. There you go. There's <laughs> another one. This is the best flavor. So um, you can use Keto Chud Daily Minerals. You can use their fasting drops, their electrolyte drops. This, this is kind of like a base for the day. So yeah. you're still gonna have to add in like with your foods, this is giving you a base. They also have the electrolyte drops. They have uh, the electrolyte, they have the fasting, they have the magnesium. You can use the Redmond Relight. Um, this is pretty much what we use. You can also use Zip Fizz. Redmond um, Salt. Redmond Salt. Um, but you can use ZipFizz. Just remember, it's going to be two to four uh, milli uh, carbs per tube. But this is going to give you 500 milligrams of potassium, 1,000 milligrams of sodium. So this is, I think it's 1,000 milligrams Zero of carbs. potassium. So that's the best thing. What's happening is, is if you are fasting or doing an OMAD, you get all your electrolytes when you OMAD, and then the next day you're kind of feeling lethargic because you haven't had any electrolytes. So even if you're doing OMAD, make sure you're getting your electrolytes throughout the day. Uh, just so you have an idea of what you need, you're looking for four to 5,000 milligrams a day of potassium between your electrolyte supplements like Keto Chow or Redmond and your food and everything. You want about four to 5,000 milligrams of sodium and then about three to 500 milligrams of magnesium. Leg cramps at night is gonna be usually a magnesium issue. Um, then you also have uh, headaches, things like that. A lot of times that's sodium, heart palpitations, that's sodium. Cramps, like in muscle cramps, things like that, a lot of times that's potassium. So that should help you out a little bit. Yeah. Ready? Bosco wrote. Hey, Bosco. Where do I go to find which oils I should not use? Well, there's a lot of oils you don't want to use, like canola. Right. Vegetable yeah. oil. Most of the seed oils. Uh, you know, if you want to use something like uh, sunflower seed oil, make sure you're using like high oleic because you're worried about the, you know, omega-6, omega-3 ratio. So high oleic is going to be a little bit higher. But that's more of like just maybe a little bit of an additive. Pretty much what the better thing to do is look at the oils you can use. Yeah, I was thinking that, like butter, right? bacon grease, yeah. coconut oil. Avocado oil, olive oil though, that's not good for cooking. It's more of just like adding in some flavor. Any of the animal fats, uh, you can use tallow, you can use duck lard, fat. duck fat. That's more of where you wanna look at what can you use as opposed to what you can't use. Yeah. Okay, we have one more and it's from Melinda. Hey Melinda, she says, holy heck. 
The extra energy fairy has hit me. I've been on keto for the past two and a half years, but I've been struggling with staying on track the last few months. I've been on track for around two weeks and the extra energy has hit me. My kiddos and I went on a five mile hike, some accidental, don't ask, LOL. I've been cleaning up a storm. I have fibro, so any energy at all is welcome. Just thought I'd share because honestly, I'm tickled pink to be up and moving around. That is so awesome. That and is. It's something that we've been talking about for like the last month or so, right? You know, you have all of these cool benefits that come from keto, but most of us start keto because we want to lose weight. Yeah. And we don't even understand like, all of these cool side effects. And that's why we've been pushing for like the last month, like worry about getting healthy first and the weight loss will come because then you're not disappointed with the scale as much. But when we first got started, I started for weight loss and I didn't know all of this awesome energy. And we don't really push it because you know, what happens is sometimes when you get started, you're, you're not used to the electrolyte thing and you have the keto flu and you don't have energy and then people start messaging us going, I don't energy. have any energy. It's just an electrolyte issue. But once that energy hits, it's like, wow. I mean, that's actually why we started the camping channel because all of a sudden we had all of this extra energy. Yeah, and it wasn't something that we experienced our entire adult life. And I think that's so exciting. And I love that you shared your fibro journey with us also because yeah, you know, for somebody that had been having to travel in a wheelchair or using a walker, that extra energy means even more than it does maybe to somebody who had been active even before they started keto, but it's even more precious. And I think in this season, it's the holiday season. Yes, the weight loss is awesome, but also being to able to actively enjoy your family this right. holiday season is a super non-scale victory. Yeah. Well, that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Now, please do us a favor. Make sure you're leaving some questions, some comments, answering little things down below. Let us know what kind of deals you're looking for for Black yes. Friday. What are your plans for Thanksgiving this week? Now, if you like seeing videos like this, we have 88 other Keto on the Couches that if you want to binge watch, you can watch them by clicking the link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week, bye. bye.